Okay, so I wasn't going to make a video about this because, to be perfectly honest, I didn't care. Uh, and it also didn't really affect me in the slightest. Um, about this whole Xbox price increase thing and how the only people who actually care, and I say care, I, lose, I use that term loosely, are the PlayStation fanboys and Xbox haters. They're the only ones who seem to be having issues with this. I'm basically saying that all Game Pass is going to be the doom and death of Xbox. All Xbox won't be, you know, they won't be carrying on after all the, oh god no, all the, the badness. Um, yeah, ge genuine Xbox gamers, like myself, we don't give two shits. Uh, we're the ones who don't care. <laughs> so, but, <coughs> it's just this weird how many people are saying that this is all doom and gloom for Xbox and Game Pass. Um, I've had Game Pass since 2019. So, the last five years. It's gone up, it's barely gone up. It went up once at £2. So, from 10 99 a month to 12 99 a month. And now it's gone up again. Now, I was saying to myself, as long as it doesn't exceed £20 a month, I think that would be too much. But so far, it seems to be fine. I, I, the, price, the, the current price increase that will be happening soon is not a problem. People are saying, oh, all the day one games are gone. Not true. There, there's there's th reasons here. There's things to explain. Um, but the only reason why I'm making this particular video uh, is because of this hilarious article from The Sun. Who personally, I think they should just stick to putting titties on page three and that's it. But, I mean, I found this actually quite laughable. Um, Xbox players are devastated as Game Pass sees a huge price increase and no more Day 1 launches. All technically inaccurate. Um, nobody's devastated, like I said, except for the Xbox haters and PlayStation fanboys. They're the only ones who seem to care. Um, I don't know why it affects them anyway, because they're not a part of the Xbox ecosystem. So they're, they're the people who shouldn't give two shits, because it doesn't affect them in the slightest, but for some reason it affects them the most. The, the fanboys... Uh, uh, there are no words to explain these people, so you know, they are some of the dumbest pricks on the planet. Um, but yeah, we're not devastated whatsoever. Uh, the price increase after looking at it is not exactly what I would call huge. People getting up in arms about this increase. Uh, it's barely anything. <laughs> and no more day one launches. Again, not true. I'll go into that first while I'm at it, actually. Um, the only reason why they're saying that is because Game Pass for console will be phased out and Game Pass Standard will be put in place. Standard doesn't have day one launches. It does say added at a future date. So I don't know if that's eventually coming, or if games will just be added bit by bit, I don't know. But basically, it's going to be <clears throat> one of the cheaper ones, and there's no day one releases, just like there is with Game Pass Core. People seem to be complaining about this tier, uh, by saying it's pointless and stupid, and even if it is, why complain? If you're not getting that tier, it doesn't affect you. Get one of the other tiers, like PC Game Pass, if you just have a PC. Or at this point, for an extra $5, not in my currency, obviously I'm in England, but for five extra dollars, get Ultimate. You get everything with Ultimate. Really, Core and Standard are for the people who, they like to game, but they don't really get the chance, or they just don't game as much, or they just like a little bit of gaming here and there. They're not like hardcore gamers that kind of thing that's what core and standard will be for in my opinion so it, they're, they're not pointless there, there is going to be people out there that these will be good for you know uh, so people it's just people's opinion by saying that these tiers are pointless to them they probably are but if it doesn't affect you don't complain there will be people out there that will want core and there will be people out there that want standard and it will be perfect for them. And now they can do it. Okay, they lose day one games, but again, for the people who don't game that much, and people who just like a bit of a spurt of gaming here and there, 
Not quite sure why I use the term spurt. It'll be good for them. It'll be perfect. It's nice and cheap. You can still play games. You still get a catalogue of over 25 games. Yes, it's limited, but you still get them. So you've got something to play. You know, so it's not... It's not the end of the world with these tiers. And if you used to be on Game Pass for console, just get Ultimate. It's not... I don't think it's that huge of an increase, to be honest. It's... Just just get Ultimate. If you're... You know, it's, it's not... It's a simple. It's, you know, just don't complain about these tiers when... They don't affect you because you're not going to use those tiers. You know, it's, it's daft. <clears throat> so you still got PC Game Pass as well, so you can get that if you just got a PC. And if you've got a console, get Game Pass Ultimate. Or if you have a console and a PC, get Game Pass Ultimate, because you get PC Game Pass as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> don't see the problem there. Get Ultimate if you want everything. If you don't really do much gaming, or you're not really concerned about get day one games, you just want to play a game here and there. Standard or core. Perfectly simple. There will be people out there that these will be perfect for. Just because it's not perfect for you, you are not the centre of the universe, doesn't, things don't revolve around you. If they're not perfect for you, it doesn't mean that something won't be perfect for another person. You are not the centre of the universe. <laughs> so, you know. <clears throat> anyway, going back to this. Um, yeah, uh, again, we're not devastated whatsoever. Um, and then when I saw the actual price increase, I just laughed my goddamn nuts off. Uh, I had to sew them back on. Because I was thinking, what, like fiver? Like five pounds in my currency? Five quid? That would be quite a bit. Um, but no. Um, uh, uh, 14.99. It's gone up two pounds. It's, it's gone up two whole pounds. So, <laughs> it, it's hardly what I would call a huge price increase. If you're just going for ultimate, PC Game Pass has increased two pounds. Uh, service, this might, okay, so that's a fiver for a year. Is that a year? Yeah. So that's fiver for an entire year. So, what's the big, f <laughs> it's two pounds. <laughs> oh yes, that's such a huge price increase. Oh, Jesus Christ, whatever will I do? Whatever will we do? What what will anyone do? It's a two pound price increase. It is not what I would call huge. I don't even think it's a big deal. It's two quid. You know, it's thirteen pounds to fifteen pounds. In the five years I've had Game Pass, it's only gone up four pounds in five years. And we all kind of knew that this was coming, especially after the ABK acquisition. But all of these games will be coming onto Game Pass, presumably at some point, especially now that we're also getting the new Call of Duty on Game Pass day one. And all those others, like Indiana Jones, Avowed, Fable, oh my god, I'm just getting aroused just thinking about them. Like, so many games are coming to Game Pass. The amount of savings that we will get, even at $14.99 a month, not having to spend 50 to 70 quid on a game every time we want to play it and then losing out if we want to return it like you know the savings are still astronomical they're still huge i just don't understand people's complaints i, I say people i'm talking about the playstation fanboys um they're not exactly what i would call people i don't think they're even human to be brutally honest with you, I think they are just some kind of government experiment gone wrong and just released into the wild. But PlayStation fanboys, they're the only ones who see any problems with these kind of things. <clears throat> I mean, bearing in mind as well, they're the people who keep on claiming that Game Pass is welfare pass and for people who are poor. A couple of things. Uh, one, I think this is now, like Game Pass Ultimate, is now more expensive than PlayStation Plus Premium. So it actually costs more 
for the highest level of Game Pass than the highest level of PS Plus. So the fanboy's narratives that it's for poor people um, has now shifted to PS Plus being for poor people. So... <laughs> and the other thing um, is that obviously, again, them saying that it's for poor people and all that kind of thing. PS Plus is the same kind of service. Uh, for lack of a better wording, it's a video game rental service, giving you access to a huge library of games for a certain subscription a month, just like PS Plus. But no one ever complains about PS Plus, just because it's PlayStation. Everyone complains about Game Pass, oh it's terrible, oh it's not a very good deal, oh it's for poor people. PS Plus is the same thing, pretty much. But no one mentions anything about that. No one ever complains about PS Plus. And to the best of my knowledge, PS Plus has been around more than Game Pass. I can't quite remember. That's what I've heard. So people are also saying things like Game Pass is killing the gaming industry. If PS Plus has been out before Game Pass, then technically speaking, PS Plus is more to do with that than Game Pass. Um, but again, no one mentions these things because it's PlayStation, and PlayStation can do no wrong. Xbox tax in full effect, I feel. But yeah, people are always complaining about Game Pass and you know insulting its users. But every time you insult PlayStation, um, every time you insult Game Pass and Game Pass users, you're insulting PS Plus and PS Plus users because they're the same fucking thing. But no one mentions it because it's PlayStation. Oh, the lord of the PlayStations, we bow down to you. I bow down to fucking no one. I don't even bow down to Microsoft. I like Microsoft. I, I will be an Xbox gamer all the way to the end. But I'm not going to bow to them or anything like that. I'm not a fanboy. I, I like Xbox. Just not a fan of Nintendo. Well, I'm not a fan of Nintendo purely because of their Nazi tactics when it comes to being punishments for things. I think they go way overboard. That's why I kind of stopped supporting Nintendo. I'm not going to buy any more of their games for the Switch. And once I'm done with them, all the games will be sold and the Switch will be sold. I'm just not... I just don't like how they treat people. Like, you're just normal people like you and I. The people that they sue... I know they have the grounds to do it, but it's how they do it, and it's what they do. To ruin people's lives, I just I just can't get behind... They literally are the, the Hitlers of the gaming world. Uh, and that'll, that probably won't go down well, but... <clears throat> to me, they are. It, it, the way they treat people. Again, I know they have the legal ground to do it. I understand that, but they do not have to go as far as they do. I think they go way too far. They abuse their power, I think, way too much. Sony, I just don't like Sony. Um, I haven't had a PlayStation since the PS3. I've had a PS1, PS2s, PS3s, PSPs, several of them. Um, always considered getting a PS4, but just, there's nothing on it that I really want to play. Um, any, of the, any of the exclusives that have come to it are either on PC or will be coming to PC. Technically speaking, you can say the same thing about Xbox, but I like having an Xbox console. I've always had Xboxes since the OG, so <clears throat> I just like having a console. But yeah, I'm not buying a £500 PS5 or £400 PS5 just to play games that I can play on my PC. So, but yeah, um, <clears throat> but yeah. It, <laughs> There's so much fear-mongering on the internet now, on Twitter and YouTube, from Xbox haters and PlayStation fanboys complaining about this. But the main people who aren't complaining are the actual Xbox gamers and the Xbox fans. I do not see a massive... I don't see any problem at all with a £2 price increase. <laughs> it's two fucking quid. If, if, if I can afford to pay for Ultimate every month comfortably, I'm pretty sure myself and others can afford an additional £2 on top of that, especially with all the savings that we're getting by not paying full price for games every time we want to play one. The only people with these issues 
PlayStation fanboys and Xbox haters. So, yeah, I just I just found it absolutely feckin' hilarious. At this, this Xbox players are devastated, devastated. Huge price increase. No day more. No more day one launches. We're still getting day one launches. It, it's just if you pick the tier that doesn't have them, which again, as I've mentioned, there will be people that do not have a problem with this, and who it will be perfect for. You know. So yeah, I just. So much doom and gloom over this, all for nothing. I mean, we know why they do it. It's because these PlayStation fanboys know they get all the views and the clicks and everything from bad Xbox news. And this isn't even bad news. It's like, oh no, there's a price increase. Oh no. Again, it's something that we knew was going to happen eventually. We just didn't know when. But we kind of expected it. But, yeah. Did anyone say anything when PS Plus increased its prices? No. Do we know why? Because it's PlayStation. All bow to the PlayStation. Just fuck yourself. Like, I, I, how people can say there's no Xbox taxes beyond me, it's pretty damn obvious that so many people are talking about bad Xbox news, but almost nobody wants to talk about bad PlayStation news. It is so fucking obvious. I scroll through my videos on YouTube, all the, the subscriptions and recommended, so many Xbox videos, negative Xbox videos, but from the same people, I very rarely see negative PlayStation news, because people know that bad Xbox news gets the views, so that's why people do it. It is the Xbox tax. I, I honestly do believe, to some degree, it exists. In, in some way, it does exist. It, it cannot be denied. It's just insane. And if you don't see that kind of thing, if you don't see that there's so many Xbox videos on YouTube, negative videos, compared to how many positive, or I should say how many negative videos there are of PlayStation, and how many people talk about Xbox compared to PlayStation and all that kind of thing, you will see it, it is ridiculous. You will see the rate. You will see the Xbox tax in effect. It's it's just stupid. <laughs> it's ridiculous and pathetic. All fanboys are pathetic. Even Xbox fanboys, Nintendo fanboys. I don't care who you are. If you're a fanboy, you are the lowest of the low. You are the cancer of the gaming world. I'm sorry to say that. That may sound harsh, but you are. And the world would be better off without fanboys. And I'm pretty sure we can all agree <clears throat> the PlayStation fanboys are the worst. They they are they are not, they're the cancer on the cancer of the gaming world. I don't care what people are say to that. It's true. <clears throat> they really are. <clears throat> oh my throat! Shit. They are. They just they are some of the dumbest, thickest, stupidest, densest, moronic, idiotic fucking morons on the planet you just have to read their tweets and watch their videos to figure that out it does not take an IQ of 2 which is what most of these fanboys have to figure that out you know it, Bleh. yeah but fanboys though so they're, they're the dumbest fucking cunts on the planet <laughs> like why people limit themselves to just one thing like that uh, is beyond me it, it's ridiculous I, I just I just don't want I'm not limiting myself to Xbox I do have a switch and a PC I just don't want a PlayStation because for me there's nothing on it that I want to play if there was I'd get one I don't have anything against Sony you know or the, you know, the PlayStation as a console but I also don't kind of want to be a part of the PlayStation fanboy community because if you're a PlayStation gamer, you probably do get lumped in with the PlayStation fanboys a lot. And nobody wants to be called a Sony pony when you're not. So, yeah, I don't kind of want to be lumped into that community with other PlayStation users while being um, accused of being a pony when you're not. It pisses me off. Same thing when people accuse others of being an Xbox when they're not. You know, I'm an Xbox fan. I'm an Xbox gamer. I'm a Switch gamer. I'm not a Switch fan. I'm a Switch gamer. I do have one, despite my hate 
I wouldn't say hate, my... Uh, I can't actually think of another word for it, really. My distaste of Nintendo <clears throat> and their Nazi tactics. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, 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 but yeah, no, I don't know, I, I just only made this video because this this article was just absolutely stupid. Um, I'm sorry, but the sun, uh, just stick to page three tits, because um, that's all you're good at. Uh, this this is a laughable uh, headline, in my opinion. Um, no one is devastated. Um, there's a load of fake outrage from, you know, PlayStation fanboys. It's all fake, just to get the clicks, because they don't care. It doesn't affect them. It's, it's, it's always funny how these PlayStation fanboys talk so much about Xbox when it has fuck all to do with them. And yet the people who actually play on Xbox don't really talk about these things because they don't care. <laughs> you know, the only people who talk about these kind of negative points are the PlayStation fanboys. And it's the one group of people that it doesn't affect. Mind-blowing. And I would hardly call two whole pounds two whole British pounds, a huge price increase. So again, that's another click, I wouldn't say clickbait or anything, but it's a lie. And technically speaking, this is both true and false at the same time, because we still get day one launches. It's just if you pick a tier that doesn't have them. So yeah, but yeah, again, don't see the problem myself, um, two pounds. If it was any more than that, if it was like four pounds and extra, five pounds more, yeah, I probably would have a problem with that. But at the moment, two pounds increase for all the games that we're going to be getting as well. I do not see a single problem with that whatsoever. Uh, if, if you're if you're saying that you have a problem with this and you're going all ranty and everything, I'm just going to basically call you out as an Xbox hater or a PlayStation fanboy. Because if you're a true PlayStation, uh, a true Xbox gamer, two pounds or whatever it is in your local currency, you are not going to give two shits about when you think about all the savings that you can make and all the games that you'll be playing on Game Pass. Two pounds is nothing. It's nothing for all the games you'll get and all the savings that you'll make over the months and years absolutely ludicrous that these people are going out of their way to make these fake videos well make these videos about fake news about their concern and oh I don't like this oh it's the doom and gloom for Xbox they're gonna go away now because they're not gonna be able to sustain game pass because this price increase people aren't going to like it and Xbox is doomed absolute tosh <laughs> Xbox isn't fucking going anywhere. Anyone who says they are, you are... Well, you've obviously had your head up your ass for so long that you don't even know what's going on. So, yeah, Xbox is not going anywhere anytime soon. So, fucking get over it by now. Or get over it already. No one cares about your opinion because it's stupid. <clears throat> Swear to God, the fanboys cannot come up with a valid opinion <clears throat> that actually makes sense. We all know that they always move the goalposts. They're always lying. Uh, you know, it's they always change the story to fit their narrative. To you know, it's, uh, it's jealousy. At the end of the day, PlayStation fanboys are jealous that Xbox has become a formidable force this generation, especially after PlayStation was so dominant in the last generation. Now that Xbox is actually pushing back to become an actual competitor, <laughs> the, the PlayStation fanboys are running scared. They've got their tails between their legs, got their heads up their asses. They are terrified. That's all this is. If you weren't concerned about something, you would not talk about it. If PlayStation fanboys were not concerned about what Xbox is doing, they would not spend so much time making videos about it. They would be talking about PlayStation. But because PlayStation is falling so far behind this gen, they've got nothing to talk about. So they talk about Xbox, and they try to, try to think of all the tiny little things that they can think of to make Xbox look bad. But all they do is they make themselves look like a dumb cunt, and it just gives other content creators 
fuel and ammunition to make videos to take the piss out of you. <laughs> you know, and it, you, these PlayStation fanboys are always like, why do you always make videos about us? Why don't you ever make videos about Xbox fanboys? Well, they do, um, but the problem is, from what I've seen, there just aren't enough, there isn't enough Xbox fanboy ammo. Because for the most part, they seem to stick, to, they, they seem to stay quiet. <laughs> you know, in, in some cases, they still have their heads screwed onto their shoulders. Unlike the other PlayStation fanboys. Xbox fanboys just seem to, they aren't as vocal or active for some reason. They do exist, we know they do. But, I don't know, they just seem to be a bit more normal than the PlayStation fanboys. That's why people make videos, or that's why so many people make so many videos about the PlayStation fanboys, because they're so vocal, and they're so active on Twitter. It just gives everyone all the ammunition they need. But Xbox fanboys, they seem to keep to themselves most of the time, and just don't really say much. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's just kind of obvious. Um, it also helps that PlayStation fanboys do say the, the, the stupidest things, or like you know things like a five-year-old would say. So, and the fact that most of these fanboys are actually fully grown adults. <laughs> I, I was going to say mature adults, but I yeah, kind of can't really say that. I'd be lying. Um, that a lot of them are grown adults is laughable, and they act like that. Like that, it's just it's a joke. <clears throat> it's a joke. It's so jokey that it's funny. I don't know if we, how long have I been? 27 minutes. Oh, man. I, I like the fact that NVIDIA have now added a timer. So I know how long I've been recording PC footage for. But it would be nice if uh, the timer was actually on screen. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm going to stop talking now because you've been staring at the sun for so long. This sun, not the actual sun. Um, well, I'm just doing nothing but talking. I, I could have given you a page three girl, but um, YouTube does not quite like the boob. So I can't really show you page three girl instead. Um, so, ooh, Scottish. Ooh, the Irish. Um, yeah, go away. Show tech. Motors. More. Are there boobs? Royals. Nothing about boobs. Ah, son, see, the son can't even do that properly. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go now because my throat is quite dry. So, yeah, um, I just... Uh, it's, 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 it's stupid. Anyone complaining about this is stupid and idiotic. And I, I think they're just doing it because they don't like Xbox. They suck PlayStation's dick so much. And they're just doing it for clicks, they're doing it for views, they're doing it for likes. Because I just don't see a single problem here. Okay, one tier is going away and another seemingly pointless tier is taking its place. But, again, no one's forcing you to do the tiers without day one games. And Ultimate is not that much more than just standard. So, you know, get Ultimate. Or PC Game Pass if you have just a PC. There are options for everyone. You know, th there's no need to complain about something that won't affect you at all unless you let it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So thank you for watching. <laughs> I s yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully this video came out because I'm not doing this again. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah thank you for watching. Uh, if you're a fanboy, go fuck yourself. Because... Um, you know, you're a fanboy. Nobody likes fanboys. I don't care what kind of fanboy. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, anything. Nobody wants you. Um, and we all know why you do things. It's just because you want to be popular and everything. You know, your sad, lonely little lives. I'm, I'm going to stop talking in case I do actually say something. I probably shouldn't. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, see you all in the next video. Whatever that might be. Probably Gears of War. Three. Bye.